Hey YouTubers, GTA Killer 15 here, and I'm doing a quick update video slash request video for MSTS. My update video is basically I haven't done videos in a really long time. It's because of school, and I've been really busy in the past. So this is the only time right now I can upload this video. Yippee. Um, I also got some bad news that's coming up. Um, pretty well soon, I will probably be stopping, stop uploading videos till probably November, because I am going to be super busy in October, so, yeah, keep an eye on that. Good news coming your way is, I'm going to be making a Facebook page with my channel, so keep an eye on that. I'll post a link on my own channel all when it's up, and I hope you guys will enjoy it. And also, I'll go with my collection update now. Excuse me. Okay. My collection update is basically MSTS installed on my computer. I installed tons of being tons of being a Ceph equipment, EX44s, um, SD70 ACE, CSX, ACEs, a lot of them correction. SD60Ms, SD70 Max, and SD40s, and I also got some pretty cool horns on them too. I updated the horns, so overall, they sound better. Um, as soon as the file I'm downloading now downloads, finishes downloading, we are gonna, I'm gonna show you how to install a version 1.2 engine into version 1.1 and get it to work fine. And plus this video will also show you how to update horns, how to update a horn to make it sound realistic or better. Like some horns I got, they were pretty crappy so I just updated them. Overall, they sound better, they sound more realistic and they are pretty good. So moving a little bit off topic from MSTS. Um, I also got some more bad news. This is for our Trains of Six about the Mega Hall route. The Mega Hall route project, I have stopped editing it because of school. I don't hardly have time to do it. So the release date, I was hoping it would be today. I'm very sorry guys, but it's not complete, so it's not ready for release all yet. My release all day, I hopefully, will be on Halloween for sure. If it's not Halloween, it'll be on Christmas Day. And I'll make sure it gets, it gets on Christmas Day, no matter what. And all I have to do is... School's a real pain in the butt for me right now. Because I miss summer, because I have tons of time to work on my route. All I've really done on the route since the last day of summer, since I went back, was I added some more texture scenery, made some more leddies. Um, I even put more bridges up, and I edited a crossing. That's all I basically done. I haven't gotten any more trains content because I've decided I'm officially stopping collecting trains 06 content for now because due to I have MSTS. So I'm officially starting to collect MSTS content. Um, there's also one more thing I'm also going to bring up about MSTS. Pretty soon, if my mom doesn't forget, I'm going to be getting steam, steam line. SD7, BNSF slash Montana Rail Link SD70 ACE pack from their site. And here's a preview of what it's going to look like. As you can see, BNSF SD70 ACE with custom sounds and custom cab. Free SD70 ACEs, and then free Montana Rail Link SD70 ACEs in this pack as well. 
Also, what I'm trying to get to on this site as well is the EMDX locomotive SD70 ACE locomotive set, which comes with five SD70 ACEs with awesome numbering when daytime and nighttime cab views and free ready to run consoles. Overall, that's what I'm going to get from that slide site for now. I'm also trying to see if I can get the BNSS Scenic route, but it's a pretty high pay for it, so I probably may not get it. Well, I'm, I don't mind if I don't get it. Whatever, I just want my BNSS, I, I just want my ACE packs. <laughs> okay. Now I can officially do the video I'm going to do. So, give me a second. Ah. Okay. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm this vid this part of an MSTS video. This request goes out to Lionel Kid 456 again. He came at me with a question about how to change horn sounds. So I'm going to show you how to do it. First of all, our engine that we're going to be installing is UP United Way SD40-2 or UP 3300. There's one problem with this file. Here's a preview of what's going to look like in the game. I also have Desert Storm, but moving on, there's one problem with this file. This file is an MSTS version 1.2 file, so that means the cab and the horn will not work in the game, unless you have the default SD40. Now, we're going to do this. I'm going to extract it into the game. Blah, 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 copying over, copying over. Yeah. Now, I have to find my SD40, which is an add, this one is an add-on. It's available on Microsoft Train Simulator dot com, their official site. It's the add-on. Now, I'm going to take the CAD view folder. I'm going to copy everything from the folder. You're going to see why in a moment. Now I'm going to... Okay. Let me just delete that one. The trick is to have two of these um, MSTS things open because it will work out perfectly. If not, try to have one open. The reason why I didn't I have two open is it's going to be easier so you already know what you copied over and you may not copy so you, you may copy something twice. Okay. Here's the cab view that's in that's going to come with the engine. It looks real high and realistic. But this cab view is for version 1.2. So, what we do is this. You're going to delete everything in the CAD view file and then you're going to paste it, the Microsoft SD40-2 CAD view files all of them in here and the horn is a P3 here you go what loads that's what the P3 is going to sound like so let me close that. I won't need this anymore. Oh, and one more thing with the SD40-2 that I did is I put a new horn on it. So here's the new P3 on it. Oh, it's quiet. No wonder what. Okay. That's what the P3 is going to sound like. Now, you have to do this. You have to, have to, have to do this. You have to back up every horn file that you change. Because if you don't, and the horn stops working, 
on your engine, then you're screwed. Then you're going to have to re-upload, reinstall the engine itself. So I got my P3 from a mixed horn pack on trainsim.com. What you do is you copy both files. So your mine I'm copying over is six sixty three sixty oh three underscore p three. And then you have to copy the one below it, which is the X underscore sixty point sixty oh three underscore p three. You got to copy both. Okay? You're gonna paste both full both sound files in this engine. Now, what you do next is you have to save it on a document drive. Which in case I'm not going to save the horn is because the horn ain't going to work in the game. So, you delete the horn, you delete it one by one, okay? And then next thing, you rename it P3 the previous horn. You do that on the second file as well. For this one, you gotta do that. You have to do it exactly what it was last time, or it won't work. And there. Officially, the cab, the engine sound has been changed. I've also changed a lot of other engine sound, engine horns too. Like this one. I don't remember which one I changed. Which one was this one? This one was a BNSF SD60M. With it, I had a K5LA on it. I renamed it, and now it sounds better. Remember, you have to do what I told you. I also replaced the CSX SD70ACE horn on here. With a K5LLA. But moving on, now you're going to close both train set folders. And there, officially. The horn sound and the engine, the cab view, will show up in the game. To prove my point, I'm going to make a quick console list. Actually, you know what? Nah, I have a better idea. Close it. I already did the same thing on UP Desert Storm. So, practically, it's going to be the same as UP United Way. Like, I know most of you ain't going to believe me, so I will make a console list at the end to show you that it works. The game, when you make the console list, first time you make a console list with this train, with the modified train, it will take a little longer to load, is because it's reading everything that you recently put on. Okay? So now we're going to go down to Desert Storm, and yes, it's going to be named Desert Storms. Now, I'm just going to start in Whitefish. I'm not driving, and you're going to wait for it to load. I already did the change on this, on Desert Storms last night. As you can see, this will take longer to load. It'll take longer to load because it's buffering all of the cab views, all of the engine sounds and horn sounds. Oh, one more thing. If you have a version 1.2 engine and you have the SD40-2 update from MSTS, the site itself, and you put it on the SD40, it's gonna sound exactly like it. But you can change the horn, you can change the engine sound, you can do whatever you want after it. But you have to make sure before that the horn sound is able to work with the game. 
So if you have a version 1.2 horn, it won't work. Here's Desert Storm. Hauling some auto racks. Please ignore. I hate the air brakes. And here's the cab view of the normal of the normal BNSF SD40-2, which is the update. But on this one, you can stick your head out the window. Now, everyone, you guys are probably thinking, is the horn going to work? Well, here's your answer. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but it's the P3 I put on Desert Victor on UP3300. Okay, that's what the nor the horn is gonna sound like in the game. It will also work in the cab too, but it'll be a bit quieter. Now that's Desert Storm. Now we're gonna make a console list with UP United Way. Select the route, whatever. Just leave it new activity because you don't have to change the activity unless if you're gonna make an activity. Um. We're just going to name one UP Grain Train. Just copy that. It's very crucial when you change everything, any updates on the previous engine, to back up the, re the previous file. Sorry about that, guys. It was just a phone call. Alright, so, anyways, the plan now is to make a certain console. Please didn't know the phone, it was a wrong number, so whatever. Now we're going to go to UP United Way, is going to show up perfectly. Now I'm going to get Desert Storm and put it on that train as well. This may take a few moments because I'm making a train we're gonna put the caddy Miss Katie correction whatever CNW blah 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 now I gotta find real grand yep real grand and Missouri Pacific they're all going to be on this one. So far, I have six heritage units on here. I only got five out of the six heritage units because I can't find WP. If anyone knows where WP is, please let me know. And better yet, please let me know if it's a payware engine before you tell them, before you send it to me. Hopper car. Yes, this one is a replacement one. I'll talk more about replacements later on. And I'm just going to click randomly, blah, 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 make my train long. Meanwhile, while I'm doing that, I'll talk more about replacements. Basically, replacement cars are the same car as default. But they replace every car. To do this, you have to get the replacement file from Train Sim. But before you replace the train, the file, the car file, that's default. Back the file, the old files up because the new ones will replace them, and it's a permanent replace. So if you delete them, you delete the cars for good, and you won't have any more default cars, and the game won't run. Overall, we made our train. Now I'm just gonna put DPUs on it. Because I only have Mariana Pass. <laughs> I'm trying to get Mariana Pass 3.1, but there's way too many files to download, so whatever. And as you know, I am lazy and I don't feel like downloading tons of that crap. Just make one uh, thing run. 
I'd rather download an installer file so it installs so I can actually see what's being installed than download all the files offline. Yada yada yada. Sorry guys, I am a bit sick. And we officially saved it. So yeah. All you need to do now to make a console list is just click OK and then just leave. End of it. If I ask you this and you don't want to make an activity, click no, click exit, blah blah blah, let's play MSTS. Be advised that the SV40-2 add-on does come with two more cars, two more activities. I'll show you that in a moment. Now, we're going to go to Mariana Pass, blah, blah, blah. United Way. Sorry guys if I'm talking too much, but I have to put, get my point out there. <laughs> okay. Here we are. We are. We have our engine. Yes, I muted the sound because it's really loud. Okay, there we go. Let me get rid of that. It's the normal BNSF SD40-2 cab on this thing. But I can sit my head out the window. And now you guys are wondering, will the P3 work? Here's your answer. Hope you enjoy it. It works for the cab, but it'll be a bit quieter. Okay, let's do that. Now we're going to go to the MSTS official website. Sorry about that. Here is the official website where you can download the updates. You have the add ons. Here's where you download the add ons. New content when you add it on is to get the BNSF SD40-2 diesel button here. They made a typo. And the UK Class 50 diesel. You get seven new cars for being for the SD40. You get a reefer, a two-base cement car, and a caboose with a nice caboose view. And four for the UK engine. You get four passenger carriages. For each engine, there are two new activities and the train simulator GM, G Mash game pack. And all you have to do is just click here, click download now, and it comes up as an installer. You have to make sure you install it at the same time with MSTS. And here's the 1.2 version updater file right here. I keep downloading that and it keeps screwing up my game, but whatever. Don't care. 1.1 is good. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Holy crap, it's 24 minutes long. Um, I'm just letting you guys know this may be my last video for a long time. So, thanks guys for keeping an eye out on me for all these videos. Um, keep an eye out for my Facebook page. <coughs> Excuse me. That's coming up. The Facebook page will take request videos. Um, it'll have all of my status updates on what I'm doing. 
and when possibly my next video or anything else that I'm working on will be released. All the download files are from Train Sim. It's set for the SD40-2 add-on pack which I just showed you, which is on MSTS, this website. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, YouTubers. This is GTA Killer 15 here signing out for probably the lot for a while. Peace, YouTubers.